know that China built a highway in the skies for $4 billion? As if that wasn't enough, this road is made of 270 viaducts in 25 tunnels. Today, we're going to be taking a trip to the highway in the clouds and talk about its most jaw-dropping facts. Before we continue, share your thoughts with us below. Are you afraid of heights? Let us know. After planes and helicopters, this is the best way to get close to the sky. But you have to get to China first, more specifically in southwest China's Sichuan province. The Yasi Highway is a section of the Beijing Kunming Highway, but you'd be wrong to think that being a part of something makes it a small path. The highway is a 240 kilometer long road reaching for the clouds, and for that reason, the Yaxi is also known as the Sky Road. Another interesting fact that makes this highway so unique is that with each kilometer, it ascends by 7.5 meters. Of course, such a marvel of engineering built on a difficult terrain wouldn't be cheap. The government initiated the project in 2007, and they invested 20.6 billion won, or that's almost $4 billion. The Yasi Expressway is made up of a series of viaducts and tunnels. Starting at the edge of the Sichuan and running to the Hengduan Mountains, it crosses the Qinggui, Dadu, and Anning rivers, and other river systems while passing through 12 different mountain ranges. Engineers designed it to reduce environmental impact, using spiral tunnels to reduce the effect on the mountains. The Yasi is part of the G5 Toll Highway and is totally paved for your convenience. It can be slippery when snow falls in the winter, but there are viaducts in the tunnels to help alleviate some of that worry. This system covers 41 kilometers of terrain, which with 270 viaducts and 25 tunnels, that is insane. In addition, the rise is also impressive. The road goes from 600 meters to 3,200 meters above sea level. Such a combination of characteristics makes for a difficult construction. Construction engineers and workers in Sichuan faced a number of engineering challenges and overcame geological hazards like gas, water spouting, faults, and rock bursting during the five-year project. But why is this location such a rowdy place? The answer is in the mountains and the occurrence of earthquakes. The Yasi Expressway is the main route to and from Qinghai, on the edge of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. This road is also connected to the southern Hengduan Mountains, which have a harsh geographical environment. On the way through its mountain range, it passes through the Sichuan Yunnan Earthquake Zone. Activity in the earthquake zone has resulted in a lot of canyons of different depths in the road's area. Frequent geological activities in this area, and various geological disasters, make construction exceptionally challenging. To solve this problem, engineers used tunnels and bridges to construct a section of the Yasi Expressway's main length, bypassing tough, high-risk areas that were difficult to work in have a lot of time for construction. In addition, this approach also avoided various risks. This made for unique bridge building, but the innovations in construction didn't stop there. Among the tunnels, there were three that sparked the public's interest for their different design and construction method. Gan Haisi and Tia Haisi tunnels are China's first dual spiral tunnels with small radiuses. Mibashan Tunnel is the largest deploying tunnel in China with a depth of 1,650 meters and a length of 9,962 meters on the left line and 10,007 on the right. Thanks to this tunnel, a drive that took several hours now only takes 10 minutes. The sensation of driving to the Yasi is amazing. People often describe it as walking on clouds. This might seem like a dreamy description, but it's actually rooted in fact. After all, the maximum elevation of the road in the helix section can reach up to 2,000 meters. That's why engineers prioritized the design of a double helix track coming from the Gan Haisi Tunnel. It was a pioneering project. We know this project is a pioneer and that it provides a wonderful experience for drivers. But the fact is that it's also a very functional bridge for the local population. The expressway improves Sichuan's connectivity with other parts of China. Besides, not only is it a scenic drive, but it also brings in a lot of tourists that take advantage of the surroundings. The local government also expects that the expressway will help millions of Tibetan, Han, Yi, and Hui people to come out of poverty by supporting Sichuan's economic growth and providing opportunities for the population and natural resources. I bet you learned a lot so far. But to keep watching awesome videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to us. There's yet another highlight of the Yasi Expressway. The Labajin Bridge has one of the tallest bridge piers in the entire world. At 182.5 meters, the Labajin Pier also applied a pioneering method of construction. The construction was made with four steel corner columns filled with concrete connected by concrete slabs, thus forming the structure of a hollow box. We've already mentioned the Gan Haisi Tunnel, 
Well, there's also a Ganhaisi Bridge. This was for sure one of the most challenging bridges from the Yaxi in terms of construction. It resided at an altitude of 2,500 meters in the Shimian County. The bridge also has an impressive measurements and a total of 36 spans. Its total length is 1,811 meters and its width is 24.5 meters. The Ganhaisi is the first all-steel tube concrete truss bridge in the world and its highest steel tube truss structure reaches 117 meters. Steel tube concrete truss bridges became popular in recent years because the Ganhaisi was lightweight and it stood the test of the Lushan earthquake. The benefits of concrete-filled tube-tied arch bridge designs, such as being economical and technologically sound, are leading to their use in the construction of bridges. The economical benefits of the Yasi Expressway just keep going and going. The opening of the new Yasi Expressway to traffic is another major development opportunity for the Liangshan. The nine-hour journey time has now been reduced to five hours, offering great benefits for this area with large Yi ethnic group population. In addition, the highway has also changed the history of inconvenient transportation in the Hengduan Mountain and has played a vital role in promoting ethnic integration and Liangshan's economic development. Overall, the Yasi Expressway has played an important role in both Sichuan and China's road industries. It represents China's determination not to be afraid of any difficulties and its ambition to become an exceptional country. It is also a symbol of what can make the formerly impoverished Liangshan rise up and become a leading player in economic development. It's no surprise that with the help of the Yasi Expressway, we're going to be able to encourage more Liangshan people to strive. They'll work hard and use their knowledge and wisdom to develop the economy of all of Liangshan to a new level. Yasi Expressway tends to everyone's taste. Locals or tourists, you're going to find a reason to like it. The road's open all year, too. However, if you want to visit it, we recommend you check the weather before you go, since the area is known for its speed-changing weather conditions. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be caught in a thunderstorm in such a tumultuous place. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take care. So anyways, so what do you think of the Skyway? Which of the engineering innovations in the Expressway did you like the most? Let us know in the comments section down below. And if you want to see more videos about similar projects, you can watch our video, China's Road Construction Technology Shocked American Scientist. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's like and subscribe for those who don't talk weirdly. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.